Hello， 大家好，欢迎加入一件军外套，每周跟您军事外交 talk。我是向政委。我们之前花了很多的篇幅跟大家聊聊的这一次的最大的台北航太国防展，在当中呢看到了包括美国馆、捷克馆、波兰馆、德国馆，都代表说这些国家对跟台湾合作的一些重视。但是你知道吗？其实紧接在这个国防展之后呢，英国的卫星应用加速中心也跑来台湾，跟我们的太空中心在台北举办了圆桌论坛，他们希望能够加强跟台湾全。面的产业跟人才培育，就是在于航空跟太空的方面。那当时呢，英国在台的办事处代表，他还特别提到，台湾跟英国的合作未来将成为 Super Nova， 就是超级行星。那当时我们其实也把握了机会，跟他们的英国航太产业协会的 ADS Group 来进行对谈，来听听看这段访问。那我们今天呢，非常荣幸能够邀请到英国 ADS Group 太空的副处长 Alan Williams 来到台湾来接受我们访谈。Hello, Alan. Welcome to Taiwan. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you for having me today. Wow, it's your first time to Taiwan. What's your impression about Taiwan? Oh, I've absolutely loved it. We've been treated so generous since we've been here. We've seen absolutely fantastic companies, and we've been treated with real partnership and and sort of welcome. And the particular and where we're sat here today with the British office in Taipei、mm -hmm. have been absolutely fantastic in bringing it all together, and we're extremely grateful for their efforts. But for me, as a as an individual, it's my first time in, in Taipei.、Mm -hmm. I've had a fantastic time, and I'll certainly be coming back.、Mm -hmm. Is it too humid or too hot for you? <laughs> no, funny enough,、um, I actually used to live in South Korea for a couple of years,、mm -hmm. so I'm very much used to that、mm -hmm. sort of、uh, that high humidity.、Mm -hmm. um, it's very hot in my jacket, as you can imagine,、um, but no, I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. And we've had lots of rain in the last couple of days, <laughs>、yeah, which is、right. rather taken the edge off it some way.、Yeah. Okay, so again, welcome to Taiwan. And、uh, could you give us,、uh, give our audience an overall idea about what does ADS Group do? Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. No, indeed. So I represent the ADS Group.、Um, we are a 1,600 member organisation,、mm -hmm. trade association. Uh, across aerospace, defence, security, and space. Essentially, we exist to secure UK commercial and strategic advantage for our members.、Um, we are a convener of capabilities. We are a convener of communities, and we work across a number of strands of business for our members, including policy advocacy, obviously working with the UK government, and indeed, of course, trade activities and trade missions, which is obviously one of the primary reasons why we're here. Mm -hmm. So since you are here and you had a roundtable today,、Indeed. yeah. So、uh, could you tell us、uh, what does ADS Group feel Taiwan's role in the global supply chain? Absolutely. So I feel like we're kindred spirits, right? If you really look at us, we're both island nations.、Um, we're great innovators. We're trustworthy partners. We're good people with whom to do business.、Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're absolutely critical innovators. I think we're critical within those supply chains. I think we're at the absolute cusp of innovation. I think we have to work in a very resilient way. We have to work in a very ambitious way.、Mm -hmm. But in reality, we understand that a rising tide carries all boats. We really must work together,、yeah. um, and we really must sort of in, in work in such a way that endure, makes enduring partnerships,、mm -hmm. and, and we, we can grow together in that sense.、Mm -hmm. So, what are the advantages of working with Taiwan? So, Taiwan is a global hub. Right, it's a global hub for innovation. It's got a huge legacy in terms of advanced manufacturing, semiconductor creation.、Mm -hmm. It's got a fantastically intelligent workforce, hugely productive.、Uh, obviously, in terms of its geolocation, it's fantastic as a hub into the rest of Southeast Asia.、Mm -hmm. And of course, it's actually an area where we have long-term enduring partnerships. So I see that one of the great advantages of working with Taiwan is the, its honesty, its integrity, its、uh, ambition align very closely with the way the UK does business. So, how, may I ask how many companies have you met, and and、uh, or the, could, could you、uh, tell us、uh, more like specific that、uh, what, what companies are interested in working with you? Uh, absolutely. So, I mean, since we've been out here,、mm -hmm. we've been hosted extremely generously by、uh, Kista、oh, already today. They were fantastic. We had a, a brilliant roundtable, hugely sort of、mm -hmm. um, engaging, lots of information uh, uh, exchanged. And then、uh, later on, we will be going to Foxconn. I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm led to believe that people who've been to the site so far say it's absolutely、mm -hmm. fantastic. And of course, at the roundtable, we saw a, an absolute plethora. Of、uh, Taiwanese companies, they've been extremely generous with their time,、mm -hmm. and I already know that the UK delegation is expecting to have follow-up conversations with them. 
Okay, and in what ways can Taiwan integrate into UK and European uh, space projects? No, I yeah. think that's absolutely fair. So we need to identify areas where we can collaborate further. Right? Yeah. We need to think about actually where is the where are the capability gaps, where are the market opportunities, and what actually can we drive in, in, in partnership. Yeah. And we also need to consider some of our adjacent markets and our adjacent sort of uh, partners, as it were. So we obviously work very closely with the Japanese, mm -hmm. in Poland, in Lithuania, and I know in those sorts of areas as well, the, the Taiwanese um, space sector and its advanced manufacturing sector work in those uh, areas too. So I'm thinking about sort of uh, satellite communication constellations, uh, things like PNT for mm -hmm. example, 5G, 6G. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Space is a whole society engagement, right? It's a real, it's a real broad endeavour. So we're not simply just building the satellites. We're not simply just using the, the, the data applications. Actually, where do they improve both our societies mm -hmm. on healthcare, on, on AI, potentially on robotics, for example? So mm -hmm. it's that ubiquity of space that I think is going to allow us to integrate into our, into our supply chains more broadly. And then, of course, not just in the UK, but the UK is a potential hub into into Europe and beyond because these are, of course, intrinsically linked supply chains. Oh, mm. So the collaboration is not just government to government or yeah. company to company, just like academic to academic. Well, it's, mm. it's a whole society approach, yeah. right? You know, we, we absolutely must do things in tandem. Mm. We're very much an ecosystem. Mm. So ultimately, of course, you know, whether the government will set the frameworks, etc., and the, the conditions for growth, and then the industry will build the partnerships, but the R&D feeds into that process, as you can imagine. The universities, the schools, uh, the other academic institutions are absolutely critical in that process. So an MOU, like the one side between NCU and the University of Surrey, absolutely critical in the growth of the space sector. Okay. Oh, and could you tell me that uh, do you have a short-term uh, short goal or a long-term goal that you want to achieve? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. No. So this is this sort of a trade mission like yeah. this is not an end of itself. Okay. It's, it's very much a means to an end. It's about we're at the foot of the mountain in terms of our relationship mm -hmm. building. My long-term vision, I think, is absolutely trusted partners who've delivered long-term programs, really enduring programs over a 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, right? Mm. Whether those be SATCOMs, constellations, whether yeah. that be missions uh, interplanetary potentially, uh, maybe, you know, space habitats, for example. That sort of thing, I think, is the sort of thing we can we can work on pretty extensively. Government to government opportunities, uh, agency to agency opportunities, and of course, as trade associations with my, my counterparts over here. But really, I want to get down into the fundamentals, right? It's about actually putting our companies and, and Taiwanese companies together yeah. so they can succeed, right? So they can build prosperity, mm -hmm. so they can endure, they can build more partnerships, they can potentially expand into other areas but together, mm -hmm. right? Of course, there's going to be areas of competition as we travel around the world, but really we're going to rise together in collaboration. Okay. How can our cooperation strengthen Taiwanese um, communication resilience? Absolutely. No, so I think actually we can do this uh, in terms of at scale, Ultimately, I think it's about understanding that we are working in a critical national infrastructure environment as well, as is recognised in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I think actually there's exchange of ideas, yeah. there's building scale together, and there's building partnerships that endure. Um, we supported a, a, a major Taiwanese delegation to the UK uh, earlier this year, mm -hmm. and one of the site visits they, they went to as part of that long term, and your viewers will be very familiar with this, mm -hmm. was the Utsat OneWeb facility oh. in, in White City. I know that they had really uh, quality conversations yes. there as part of the broader visit to, to Spacecom. Um, and there's going to be a Spacecom um, that the ADS is a partner in in, mm -hmm. in March 2026. And in fact, you know, if you're happy to be in the UK at the same time, and I, I know there's a plan for a delegation mm -hmm. to travel, we'd be delighted to welcome you there. <laughs> and uh, potentially we could follow up this interview uh, and discuss actually what your experience of the UK space sector is while you're over. That mm -hmm. we'd be delighted to host. Uh, what future opportunities does ADS uh, uh, see for UK Taiwan collaboration? in defence and, and space. No, absolutely. So I think it's about actually, okay, what are the constellation opportunities that we can work on together? Potentially market areas, things like space uh, situational awareness. Actually, that's been uh, very much a, a feature of some of the conversations we've had across the week. I think there's some of the sort of um, long-term applications mm. of space, potentially in around AI utilisation. I think that's really something we can all work on together. Mm. I think actually, what can we learn from Taiwan's absolutely fantastic legacy on uh, 
semiconductors, actually what can we do on the advanced manufacturing piece, modular manufacturing as well, I think it's something we can absolutely work on together. What we need to understand is that fundamentally our supply chains are integrated, right? we can only do this together. Okay. So I think it sort of almost doesn't matter if we're doing it in the Brazilian context, whether we're doing it in civil applications, whether we're doing it in dual use applications, absolutely we just need to understand that we're intrinsically linked and that all of our opportunities are ones that we can share together and build mm. together across our industrial bases. Mm. So, uh, in your personal opinion, do you think that uh, this is the uh, growing uh, interest uh, from the UK to Taiwan? So I've never known the UK space sector as mobile as it is uh, in the last couple of years. Um, a, a comment was made to me maybe six, seven months ago that the only way to do business is to get on the plane and travel. And what I would say is that we've got some fantastic exemplars of the UK space sector in with us uh, this week. People who are absolutely understanding they're not going to do all their business today, right? It's about the start of a conversation, it's about building trust and it's about building relationships. So where I see us at the moment is actually we're in that sort of developmental phase, we're in the exploratory phase, we're in that sort of the meeting and building trust mm -hmm. phase. What we're really going to start to do is get to scale, yeah. get to adjacent sectors, we'll bring bigger delegations, we'll bring other areas of interest and expertise and of course offices like the British Office of Taipei will certainly support and facilitate that with their strategic leadership within the region. Um, but I think absolutely with the start of that journey, we've got a long way to go but it's really kind of lifting and quite, up, you know, really sort of heartwarming, I think, to actually see just how willing to do business both sectors are. Okay, thank you so much, William. And again, uh, thank you for accepting our interview. No, and I hope you enjoy your stay in Taiwan. Absolutely. And I do look forward to more cooperation between the UK and Taiwan. Thank, thank you so you much. much. No, thank you indeed for hosting me today. Mm -hmm. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. No, 好，听完刚刚的访问我相信大家一定对一个东西非常有兴趣，也很好奇。当然，我也帮大家问了，就是所谓的 OneWeb 什么时候可以落地在台湾，民间可以使用。但是，其实你知道，我们跟 OneWeb 的合作已经有一段相当的时间。那目前呢，是开放给政府跟企业来做使用。那我们未来呢，一定会走到开放民间，就是说你在手机未来在选择你的讯号的时候，你可以去选择4 G、5 G， 你甚至可以选择来自于卫星的讯号，你都可以来做选择。但是在初期的时候，绝对它的价格。会。会比较高，我们要走向这个所谓的呃通讯韧性必要的一环。那在之后呢，也会针对 OneWeb 的部分来继续帮大家做说明跟了解。好，那以上就是这一集的一件军外套，希望大家都喜欢，也对大家都有帮助。那有任何疑问的话，欢迎在我们节目下方留言来告诉我们的想法，也记得帮我们按赞、订阅跟分享。那我们就下集再见喽，拜拜。